when I first started doing films in uh, Tamil Telugu, uh, Malayalam, I think the first one of that was uh, Kartraveli Day, uh, Manisar's Kartraveli Day. And uh, I saw the script and I saw the scenes that we were shooting on the first day and I started crying. In romantic films, there is such an emotional roller coaster and I love being on that roller coaster. It's too much fun. One of the reasons I also enjoyed playing Mauna is because of this whole Navarasa that she goes through. Uh, Navarasa roller coaster. And that, that's what people, so many people are saying Navarasa Rani, Aditi, Navarasa. <laughs> Master was like, why you pow? She's crying. Doesn't matter, we'll go tomorrow. Dulkar laughing. Ha 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 ha. Look at her, Master. Acha cartoon, look at her. This is Soundarya from The Quint and today I'm in conversation with the most talented, gorgeous looking pan-Indian star, Aditi Rao Haidri. Hey Aditi, I'm sorry. Hi. Hey Sinamika, how are you? <laughs> I'm good, how are you? <laughs> I'm doing good. So the reception for Hey Sinamika is really good and how are you feeling about it? I am so thrilled and so relieved because, you know, we've had a love story coming out of the theatre and we were hoping that people will go. And they have and they've loved it. And uh, I'm too happy. Also because I love this so much. I'm very happy for everybody, especially for this master. Definitely. And I should start with your, uh, you know, uh, acting is a skill. But then, uh, you know, speaking the language is very, very important for you to come across as a natural actor. And when I mentioned about you being a pan-Indian actor, you you can talk in like, uh, emote well in, uh, you know, Hindi, Tamil, Telugu or Malayalam. So let's start with that. How do you do this? Like, how do you ace your performances? Like, what is the process that goes behind it? I think, uh, I'm, thank you for that. Um, I don't know if I ace anything, but I do try my best. <laughs> I it, and I want to do my best. Um, because um, I feel like, you know, you have to give respect to the script, the director, the actor in front of you. So it's very important for me to know my lines. And I think uh, I had the best teacher when I first started doing films in uh, Tamil Telugu, uh, Malayalam. I think the first one of that was uh, Kartraveli Day. Uh, Manisar's Kartraveli Day and uh, I saw the script and I saw the scenes that we were shooting on the first day and I started crying. I was like, how will I do so much in one day? And then I just started mugging. Mugging, 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 mugging. I would sit every day. I just sat in the Madras Talkies office, went to Manisar's uh, office every day. I would sit with him and do so my life. literally like a 12 standard student preparing for public exam. <laughs> I promise you, I have not studied as hard for my board exams as I did on Kartraveli Day script. After that, I realized that because everybody said this, you know, everybody uh, really appreciated this. So I, then I realized this is the only way to do it. So now every script that I get, especially when it's in another language, I will just sit and mug like I'm mugging for an exam. And my rule is that you have to wake me up and say, see number 58. And I should say, oh, 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 oh. Then I'm happy. <laughs> That's really cool. And let's talk about your uh, romantic movies, right? Uh, I don't know whether you are manifesting romantic subjects or romantic subjects are manifesting you. Uh, let me ask you about the script selection process. Like, what goes behind that? I think uh, both are manifesting, for sure. <laughs> because um, one, I get a lot of uh, romantic uh, dramas, love stories. And two, I really enjoy doing them because I feel like um, in romantic films, there is such an emotional roller coaster and I love being on that roller coaster. It's too much fun. So for me, it starts with the director and then of course the script and the co-stars. And I, that is what I look at. And then my script selection is usually very instinctive. You know, sometimes you read a story and or you hear a narration and you just imagine in it and then I'm excited to play it and there's sometimes I don't imagine myself in it and uh, then I'm like mm, I don't know but it's not about that character being close to me it's about you wanting to be in the world of that character when there's something new there's a slight fear there's a slight uh, oh my god can I do this I don't know that that kind of feeling I like those butterflies you're dying <laughs> start the film, you know, all those kind of feelings. I enjoy those. It's very instinctive. 
Very true. And I, I think uh, extension of that, I want to ask you this because uh, Mona is a very different character from what you previously done, right? She is funny. She is uh, also like, uh, she has intense emotions. It was like a Navaras are seeing Aditi's, uh, you know, audition show reel. <laughs> so we were able to see you in every emotion. So tell us about the process, the uh, homework that you had to, uh, you know, take to get, get to that role. Homework, I would say, I, 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 I don't know. I, that's very difficult for me to say because that happens subconsciously. But Dulkar and I, I feel you, we really uh, work together in uh, finding both Mauna and Yaran because there is no Mauna without Yaran. There's no Yaran without Mauna. Brinda Master also gave us a lot of freedom. But um, I think one of the reasons I also enjoyed playing Mauna is because of this whole Navarasa that she goes through. Uh, Navarasa roller coaster. And that, that's why people, so many people are saying Navarasa Rani, Aditi, Navarasa. <laughs> Even Master is saying. So I'm enjoying that because I also come from a dance background. So uh, I think that was a lot of fun about this particular movie for me and for both of us, I think, as actors. And we both love the Linda Master. <laughs> Like, and Brinda Master could have asked any actor to, done, to have done this film. Everybody loves her, they would have done it. So we were very, I feel so, um, so lucky that she picked me for her first, uh, her, her directorial debut, you know. Absolutely. And I wanted to ask you on that as well, because the crew, uh, you know, the major technicians in the movie are women, right? Right uh -huh. from the director, cinematographer to, uh, you know, editor, everybody is, everybody is a woman. Yeah. So that is about your experience working with them. Does it uh, impact you as an actor to work with women behind the camera? Like, does it make your life easier or, uh, you know, a lot better? You know, professionally, I'm very proud to say that uh, we have technicians. The gender of the technician doesn't matter. Um, and uh, I think that's how it should be because uh, a profession should not have a gender. And all these people came together because they're really good technicians. And then when people point out that, oh, there's so many women as HODs on this set. And then you're like, yeah. And then you realize, personally, there are certain differences. Like um, Dulkar always says that women really multitask. It's true. <laughs> master, like Brinda Master, she knew what we were eating to when, you know, we needed to come to set to whether my makeup artist was going through a bad time because of some issue. To, she knew everything. And um, it's like she was a real mommy on set. But at the same time, she was also doing the job of a director. And she was the captain of the ship. Every single person on that set was happy. Every single on that uh, single person on that set was super efficient. You know, we had a 62-day schedule, which we finished in 42 days. Wow. It, and uh, Brinda Master always says, Mani Ratnam, uh, Mani sir is her guru. Uh, so Manisa is super efficient and he hates wasting time and he always believes that you know do your prep work come to set and shoot master also did that she had all her prep work and the only time that was given was for actors to block scenes to discover what they wanted to do and then we would just put 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 shoot so I feel like professionally gender didn't come into the picture at all but personally 100% it did. <laughs> So talking about Dulkar, uh, I heard an interesting story that, uh, you know, uh, when you were crying on the set, he was making fun of you and stuff. So could you elaborate on that? So Dulkar is a friend of mine and uh, we've been friends for a while and I'm like, we are all part of the same gang, especially in Chennai, you know. So I hang with him and his wife Amal and Vikram Prabhu and Ujjaini and we have one gang. Uh, and then we got to work on this film and <laughs> same thing with dialogue. So the thing is, I... You know, I love to do master shots. And I don't like the director to say, oh, just because she doesn't know the language, I'll do everything, cut, cut, cut. So we were doing a master shot and the time had run out. The shift was getting over. And now it was my turn to do the... It was over Dulka's shoulder, full master for me. Okay. There was tension, right? Because the time has run out and there was just one minute or something. I mucked up my lines some twice or thrice or something. And uh, master said, doesn't matter, we'll do it tomorrow. Bah, I started to <laughs> And master, master was like, are you palm? She's crying. Doesn't matter, we'll do it tomorrow. Dulkar laughing. Ha, 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 ha. Look at her, master. Achha cartoon, look at her. And he's taking photographs. And then, of course, India. Oh, I wanted to kill him. But yeah. 
But yeah, I think that shows your rapper with the actor and also with the director, right? Uh, because yeah. you feel so comfortable on the set that they bring out the best in you. Yeah, I loved being on. Uh, I I really loved Brinda Master and I'm very close to Dulka. So I was very very comfortable on set. Great. So we'll wrap this interview. I wish you all the very best. Thanks for the time. Thank bye bye. You.